Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to make a read switch. I uploaded a video but didn't include it the construction. So here I am with the construction. Well, so let's le take a look at the parts required. Now, you require a metallic strip that is magnetic, that is, it should be attracted by a magnet. Well, I found this strip in a pushback toy car the smaller ones that you push back and release to let him go so you can rip apart its mechanism and find a strip like this and you'll always like have to uncoil it solder rod is not mandatory but still I recommend because a soldered connections are you know more much more reliable than something taped or hot glue uh, if you have a hot glue gun then it's okay like it will make a more better read switch but a piece of tape or some sort of similar thing will also work so first of all I'll take the strip and measure 5 cm of it uh, you can't see it but yeah I'm taking 5 cm of it and cut it yeah so now I'm gonna you can see it's all uh, no maybe not but the strip has got lots of rust on it and to make the electrical connections better I'll just rub it to remove the rusty thing so that uh, the solder could hold on and have a better grip now I'll take the wire and solder it on the metallic strip so let's do it uh, so now as you can see that I have soldered the wire as well as applied some on the very top portion uh, it's difficult to see but yeah so just to make sure that the electrical contact whatever is made is uh, you know solid that doesn't breaks up or something next I'll be using a paper clip it has been bent straight and all the insulation has been removed well, you can keep a little bit but uh, I was just too hurry in a hurry so I stripped off the entire insulation <coughs> so now we'll be sticking it uh, both the you can say terminals uh, so my glue gun is almost ready now let's see uh, it'll take some time yeah so it's now all hot and ready First of all, I'll take the paper clip. If you don't remove the insulation, it's better because now I'll have to apply a little hot glue to avoid direct connection or short circuit. So, just a sec. Here I applied a little bead of hot glue. Now I'm gonna stick it to the other metallic piece. So, now I have hot glued it. You can see the hot glue is on nice and settled the connections are also very smooth but it's a waste why that's because I was supposed to make one of the terminals non-magnetic of a non-magnetic material but the paper clip I forgot is magnetic so I'll let you know what's the mistake in a second you can see when I approach a magnet even the paper clip bends yeah and that's not what we want so I'll be doing the whole stuff again with a non magnetic paper clip or any other wire yeah so in my scratch I found this uh, broken antenna and hopefully it's non magnetic so I'll be using this instead of the paper clip yeah so I have crimped the non magnetic antenna stuff uh, to the metallic strip such that the gap between them is as small as possible uh, there's too much of shine yeah so that it's very sensitive 
now you can adjust the sensitivity level by uh, changing the gap between both the electrodes or terminals or whatever now I'm gonna crimp some wire in this antenna so that I can use it in some circuit or so so let's do it finally I was able to make the circuit and here we are this is our magnet the top of the CD-ROM motor it's not that powerful but still and see what happens now whoa our read switch is working as you can see I'm not physically touching it it's at a considerable distance in fact very sensitive as I can see maybe even you can see and the best part is unlike the ones you get in markets you can actually adjust its sensitivity so the two electrodes or terminals or whatever you can actually press them together or pull them apart to make it more or less sensitive uh, thanks for watching guys